what's up guys I am here in Boston Massachusetts just for one day I'm behind this wall because it is freezing out today my dad has a conference here so obviously I'm gonna take full advantage of that and I'm staying with him at the Intercontinental Hotel okay it is still freezing out so I'm going to get a hot chocolate real quick and yeah it's 11 o'clock so let's see if we can actually get stuff done today All right, so while I was walking, I ran into the signature area of the Boston Massacre. This beautiful building right here with it. If you couldn't read it, it says the site of the Boston Massacre. So this is one of the stops, I believe, in the Freedom Trail. So if you want to read it, go ahead while my hair is blowing in the wind. <laughs> day lost I feel like that's gonna happen a lot still need to get to my first destination of the day I think we're almost there let's keep walking yes again I don't need to follow the freedom trail because here's another spot Samuel Adams statue all right so I stopped in the Boston Public Market and it's super great especially to get warm on these colder days. They have all different foods here you can stop in but it's a really great cute area for every age and it seems like everyone's having a lot of fun in here. So I was never lost the whole time. Well I guess I kind of was but I was circling it. And I found it. We're here, let's go check it out inside. All right, so if you want any tourist souvenirs, this is definitely the place to go. There's also a Quincy Market right next door. It's super cute, it has all these different types of food areas. If you wanna do a little shopping, I definitely suggest this market area. Okay, so I just wasted a little time because I stopped in Abercrombie & Fitch. They are definitely coming back and they're even rebranding. That's their new brand logo. I love their stuff and I'm an app kid. Spot, which is the state house so things are looking good I didn't plan on kind of following the freedom trail but all is going well and this Boston Common is absolutely gorgeous just a beautiful park people are walking their dogs just taking some tours and it's just a really nice cut through so it is one time I'm just taking a little break in the Boston Common. All right, so I'm outside the park and I'm walking along Beacon Street going to Acorn Street and it is an absolutely stunning walk. just checking out these side houses and look at what I found 
Acorn Street and it is so beautiful and peaceful and quiet. <sighs> Definitely could see myself living right there. A stunning area I definitely recommend it but it is a private area so please respect it so right on the corner from Acorn Street is Carl Street and it's a super great street just to walk down for adorable boutiques restaurants and next I'm going to Top, I believe it's pronounced, which is a very popular cafe and coffee shop. Shout out to him for making me an awesome coffee, even though I didn't like my first one. Okay, make so. sure you guys also subscribe. Um, hit the link below. Uh, oh, thank you. All right, so it's 3:20. I'm just outside of Pate, and I was in there for almost an hour. Was not expecting that, but started talking coffee with one of the workers, Bobby, because really not into coffee but I'm trying to get into it so he was giving me a bunch of suggestions of course a delicious bakery and cafe all right so I just took an uber about a mile and a half from where I was because I'm going to the Maptorium at Mary Baker Eddy library so let's go check it out okay correction it's Maptorium I'm about to walk into the map now, but unfortunately there's no pictures allowed. But here's a little background just to see what it looks like what I'm about to walk through. So I just left the Mattarium. It was actually so cool. If you're in Boston, it's only six bucks to go check it out for 20 minutes. I was a little skeptical at first, but it was actually so cool. I went to ask a question, and all you have to do is whisper, and the entire sphere, you can hear it. All right, guys, check this out. It's even cooler in person. We're going to a hidden sneaker shop, and look at the outside of it. There's not even a sign. You have no idea. Just looks like a regular grocery store but we're about to walk in and it's going to be a shoe store I just left Bodega. It was so awesome. The employees were so great. You saw the employees holding up. Those are the ones I got. They're fire. Can't wait to rock them on the street. All right, so it is 6.15. I went back to the hotel real quick, put my new purchase on from Abercrombie & Fitch, met my dad, we just took a car over to Fenway Park. Yeah. Gonna go to a Boston Red Sox game, and I cannot wait.
good fun. It's good. <laughs> A little before 11, woke up. Dad went to some meetings in the morning. And now we are just checking out the area around the Intercontinental Hotel. Walking down this beautiful river walkway. And we are going to first the... Boston Tea Party Museum. The Boston Tea Party Museum. There you go. Right there. No <laughs> taxation without representation. Yeah. What he said. <laughs> British. <laughs> I'll tell you what's going on. I'm gonna take that <laughs> You know what from the British anymore. It's a museum artifact too. Oh, actually <laughs> <laughs> oh my ponytail. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like I have cheese on my head. <gasps> Wearing the shoes I got at Bodega yesterday. Okay, so our lives are over. I thought my dad said it was 11. Now it's 10 20, so it was almost 10. So it's still early in the day. We're just trying to figure out what to do before Warby Parker opens up at 11 o'clock. This is in Seaport. It's called The Village and it's a bunch of little pop-up shops. And now I'm back at Faneuil Hall in Quincy Market just to show my dad around a little bit. so much and had such a great time and I hopefully will be back soon so thanks so much for following through my day in Boston and if you have any questions or want to make more suggestions that I didn't get to today just please make sure you put that in the comment below thank you so much for following and please make sure you subscribe so you can stay always connected and up to date with new videos being posted and also don't forget to follow me on social media especially Instagrams at the young hustle underscore so you guys have a fantastic day stay young and keep hustling so we just walked through security we just stopped at vineyard vines right when we walked in and they have a sale going on nothing fit me but my dad was so excited to hey, get something else 50 percent off and so that one thing is a shark week quarter zip now don't worry mom we're sharing it we didn't get anything for just you Look at that shark we quarters it. <laughs> 